So, hello everybody, um, it's Megan again. I'm currently in my PJs, as you can see, and decided I would make, this is like the 15th time I've done this now, decided I would make a little video to, as an introduction to a series I would like to do. Um, firstly, I want to say, if you haven't already seen it, Lauren and I did a Get to Know Us tag, um, so I'd appreciate if you check it out. I'm just going to get right into this. Um, basically, I would like to do um, maybe a weight loss series, something about my exercise routine, my eating routine, just about my experience of losing weight in the past year. And I thought today I could do just a small, short little video just um, describing where I'm at now, where I was, and that sort of thing. It's not going to be anything serious today. Hopefully in the future I'll do a little bit more. Don't slouch. No, one slouch. So basically, um, last year I weighed 13 stone 4. I don't know what that is in pounds, you're going to have to convert that yourself. Um, and this year, now, today, I currently weigh 10 stone 3, so I lost 3 stone in the last year. And um, basically, yes, the, the reasons or what I would consider the cause is just me. I don't know what else to say really I don't have another reason. Um, I don't have an excuse for it. Um, I just, you know, it, it was me who chose to snack on food. I loved food. You know, I, the relationship I had with food was special. You know, I loved eating junk food, anything at all. I could eat more than three meals a day. A day. I didn't really care. And that, I, I'm the reason that I had so much weight put on. That just me personally, I don't know anyone else's experiences or what they, their causes are for it. That was mine. And um, basically I, you know, like I, I, was, I didn't really care about how much weight I had on me. Like I had low self-esteem, but I never bothered about wearing nice clothes, having my makeup done perfectly, having really nice hair like I do now, but I didn't at the time. And I was never bullied, not to my face anyway, I don't know. I, I just, ne I never had any bad experiences with other people about it. No one ever told me, you know, I was overweight. Like, this was just, I just was normal to everyone. It was normal for me to be that big girl that loved to eat food and was proud of that fact. And I recently, you know, last year, went to talk to somebody about some, just just there were lots of different factors in my life that I wasn't particularly happy with and I went to talk to someone about them and the first thing they recommended anyway um, because I have an anxiety disorder or I have had for a while and it's so much better now honestly but the first thing they recommended was just running and exercise to get the chemicals going to balance out everything in my body just to calm me down and it would help and basically it's that easy I literally just, you know, that last Easter just got up, started running, and I was hardly far scump. Like I couldn't run very far. It was more like huffing and puffing and crying and then walking, and then huffing and puffing, crying and walking all over again. Um, but I did it anyway. I thought to myself, this would be so much better next year. I was helping my anxiety so much, like leaps and bounds. Literally, all of that kind of adrenaline, that fight or flight, that panic just came right down slowly. I love the way I did that. Yes, came right down. And so, um, I kept doing it. Like, you know, it was helping me mentally and emotionally. I thought, I'm going to keep doing this. And then I decided I better change my eating habit. So, um, I changed my eating habit and then I was exercising and I was slowly building up stamina. I was getting better at all this. I was getting better at eating and it took me a long time. Like, you know, like Ireland isn't one of them really crazy like well there was no one around me that was crazy health conscious that could go here is a meal plan or this is what you should be eating or this food has this or this food has this I just had to I had to learn online and I did I went online I looked up youtubers I went on apps I like I had everything to help me figure it out and it's hard you know that sort of dr drastic change suddenly changing your lifestyle from going from hating physical activity and eating good foods to eating all these vegetables and fruits and running like it's overwhelming and it's difficult um but now today i can say i'm honestly so glad i did it 
if I could have seen what I would have looked like today, last year, if someone showed me that photo and said, this is what you will look like in a year, I probably would have lost my weight quicker, honestly. I'm so, I feel so much better emotionally, mentally, and then physically. I just feel so good. Like, I feel like I could be one of them Tumblr girls that, like, you know, it's just so fit and healthy and cool, except for I'm, I was never that, I was never that cool, <laughs> but um, I felt like I could have been. And I wish I could just sit down with last year's Megan, as me as today's Megan, and just tell her, like, it's gonna be fine. You just get up and do it. Doesn't matter if it's raining, get up and do it. Or it doesn't matter if other people are eating chocolate bars, you don't have to do it. If I had been like this when I was younger, you know, I wouldn't have had problems. But I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't put on all the weight and then go through the change. I'm glad I had to go through that. I feel like that helped me grow up, mature a little bit, and I learned a lot more about myself. Um, and I obviously have like so much more to learn. Like I have a lot more that I want to learn about myself. Um, anyway, you know, I, I have my whole life left to figure out who I am. But I feel like this is just a piece of who I am that I found. Just one piece. That's all I wanted. It was just one piece of myself before college that I knew that this is me, you know, and because I did it that year ago and still doing it now, I think I will do this for the rest of my life. I don't think I'll ever let myself get back into that place. So if you're somebody who wants to lose weight, um, I am going to make more videos about this and, you know, if anybody happens to see this and cares enough to comment and ask a question or you know, ask for advice or give me even advice or tips on being healthier. I'm, you know, I'm totally open to it and I'd love to do this more and help help other people, hopefully. Or maybe you're just a very nosy person who has decided to just scrutinise and watch these videos anyway. Or maybe laugh at me. I'm glad I could provide entertainment for you in any way, shape or form. And yes, I'm going to finish this video before it goes on any longer than what it should. Um, I'm hoping to make another one tomorrow, maybe after study, just about studying and that sort of thing. And hopefully I'll continue this at another point. Um, I might try and get Lauren to do another video tomorrow. I don't know, we had a lot of fun doing that today. I know I did, anyway. Um, so I would love to do something funny tomorrow, maybe, or depends on what we're doing. We never usually do anything fun after study. So um, yes, I will talk to you guys soon. The awkward outro is going to be me walking up to my professionally set camera and turning it off now. Um, I won't have a thumbnail thumbnail for this video probably, but um, you know, it's all a learning process. Yay! So thank you for watching me or listening to me ramble on, and I hope I've enlightened you somewhat. And I hope I've in interested somebody out there, or helped someone, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? These things are magical. What have I got to lose? Um, so anyway, yes. Goodbye, everybody. This is me going to be turning off my camera.